Angry Squid. Facer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. I got a few of those. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. If, by some miracle, you can bring me the full set, I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third Didn't I pick up three? I can't say. I found a third one, but it wouldn't let me pick it up. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. One Wasn't trouble. I was avoiding work. Path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. <laughs> Almost forgot your payment. Sweet. What's on your mind? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. 500 bucks? Whoa, thank you, buddy. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... A... This isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Never mind. Okay, so that was him. Reputation with factions changed. If enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days, what? Nope. The idiot for from giving yes, well, well, calm the things down. The up. people of Halcyon well, have short memories. Have been in here yet? Nope. When it comes to ammo, the more the merrier. I hope I don't have a cap on 999. Hmm. Pick up power regulator. Ouch. I guess I gotta turn it off somehow. Sneaky. Ooh, I don't have enough. Wee. Okay. Background to talk to Adelaide. <laughs> Wasting time. But that's that's what makes these games good. You can choose to waste your time. And there's a lot to do and find. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? That'd be the garden, dear. You're standing in a garden. Also fertilizer, so mind your boots. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? 
I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Special fertilizer. Special fertilizer. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go. The boss with nowhere left to go. Nowhere left to go. And nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. My Goodness, aren't you just charming? Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Oh! Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want chip parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Ah. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. But then Edgewater would never let me back in. But there's enough here to get me by. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Interesting. My conscience is to steal, so... <laughs> In this game, anyway. Those are bad-looking bubbles. That's too bad because... That's too bad because now. That's too bad. Oh well, I do really enjoy this game. I don't need it to be perfect graphic wise. So I'm totally on the side of stealing power from corporate interests to feed the victims of corporate interests. If dirty money can be rerouted into positive action, it's not dirty money. As the Black Company books say, or was it the Garrett P.I. books, either way, Glenn Cook, as he famously writes in his books, money has no provenance. It is what it is, and it's useful wherever and however you find it. How did I get on this side then, if I was in the Adelaide? So the building kind of loops around? Hmm. Oh, look at that. Do you sell any Adelaides around? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nothing? I guess I have to go to the plant and make my choice. I can fast travel there. Bow, wow, wow. Excuse me. Okay, let's do some of these side quests then. If I'm here, 
Let's head this way and see what that's all about. What was Few Kindred Spirits about? Grace Romero. Oh, Zoe. Okay, yeah. Let's go find Zoe. Got anything yeah, else to talk uh -huh. about? He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a wrench. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just glad, glad he's, alive. he's alive. That he's, that he's okay. okay. I mean, I mean when, Mr. when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants he to learn about engineering, about engineering, we should help him get, get those data pads he wants. Yeah. I'd like I'd to like do that for him. Yeah, we'll do that. You mean about the mission being too clean? It isn't supposed to be clean. It's a church. I know, I know but... but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. And why'd you want to talk to him? I reckon we already do, we ain't got no choice in the matter. So maybe somebody ought to take a rap to it. <laughs> I'm going to the east. Find me some peaches. Find me some Zoe's. East. Doop 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 doop. Is that all red because of the sunlight? That's pretty. Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Zo Meister. The Zoster. Zoe. What building are you in? Right in the middle of where you should be. Did you go inside a building? There you are. Hi. What I wouldn't would do for a Wentzworth. Why? Why? Adelaide, Adelaide wants me wants back, back on garden, garden duty or something? something? Thanks, yeah. but I'm not but going, I'm not anywhere. going anywhere. anywhere. This cool. is where I belong. I can't intimidate her. Stephen told me about your favorite cereal. Zoe and I were gonna, were gonna watch, watch the cereals, cereals, as is our custom. She never, she never turned, turned up. up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. So, you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't say no to my favorite cereal. Episode 38. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Sweet. Take care. I don't think I've done my level up, but I'm waiting for my next level up before I do. <laughs> you didn't want that book to keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? That book seems a bit more important than you let on. Over... over overreacting? Do you, do you have, have any, any idea, idea how many, many years, years I spent in... in... <laughs> no. no. You couldn't possibly know, could you? Over, over, re, revoir, over, re, over, re, over, re, revoir, over, re, I, revoir, over, re, I've spent my life. It's too bad he looks like my grandpa when he was young. Secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Bocconi, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony.
What is the philosophers? Philosophism is a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist <laughs> perversion of Bakono's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Well, all is chaos. We are a rare organized things based on random chemistry. Organization is only important to us because it helps us stay alive, keeping our cells organized and in place. <laughs> it benefits an evolving species to worship life. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had what the fuck is the that we plan? Open the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. <laughs> okay, well, I don't That's dislike you as much. Prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure a transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Ah. Need a ride out of town? I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. Okay. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. I'm gonna have Grandpa as my sidekick? I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. That's so cool. I gotta show my dad. And his name is Max. Ugh. Their dog, Max, just died recently. My grandpa and grandma, on dad's side, just also died in the last five years or so. And this guy looks like grandpa. He's gonna be my sidekick, and his name is Max. Like, okay. All right, looks like it'll let me record another hour. Mission is die robot. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I'm supposed to go somewhere. Do I have to walk around the outside there? Is that where it is? Am I supposed to kill it? Cross <laughs> it off, then report back. Aw, oh, he ain't no threat. But I could fix him up smart. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna give it a good smack. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His navmod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, <laughs> new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation <laughs> systems operational. He's looking at you. Scanning you with its murderous operation. Systems operational. Hello, Jeremy. Path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. <laughs> Whoa, hey, don't you owe me something for the repairs? Poverty, why did you name the mechanical? Good luck, I guess? Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. <laughs> Excellent. This is ridiculous, I'm done. <laughs> I'll be going now. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. I can't have him on my team? Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. <laughs> I want him on my team. I want him to follow me around. What's this? Doesn't consider it stealing. That's a box. How do I get in there? This way. Pit cartridge, revolver, and armor parts. It's 
smack, smack, smack. <laughs> Was that my mission? Jeremy? What's my next mission? Die, robot. Oh, go back to that person? Okie dokie. Glad I don't have a stamina bar to worry about. I fixed you, Jeremy. Come back here. Scarface. More like prune face. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Alright, I'll let you keep your imagination. Soldier, I will confess. But you are Good one. chunk of experience there. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. That sounds good to me. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Okay, I probably already found it. <laughs> so I have to go to the cantina. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. <laughs> On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. <laughs> so have I found it already? Either I don't know if I found it already. Either I don't know if I found it already. Bring us honors. Okay. Next. So back to town. Nice straightforward quest that lets me just <laughs> not have to think too much. Terror on Monarch. Now, where's the cantina? Saltuna. This way. Maybe I should go sell some junk. You're not a big Do you buy junk? Really? We'll get you mostly drunk. Coming right up. All right. Well then, I'm here to talk to somebody. Oh, go to the bathroom. I'm here to go to the bathroom. Ah, Ludwig's bundle. Crap. Lots of chunks of experience here. Don't think it'll push me over the edge after I deliver this though. Dissenters in our midst. <laughs> the enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Philosophist. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go this way, but is he still on that side of the building? I like these flowers. They're cool. They're pretty. And that's opalescent color. Bring us Buddy. honor, soldier. Found that package. Your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. <laughs> you ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Injury customizing unit. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I've gained Mag 2 Zap. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. <laughs> Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Right, getting mixed up in this. I get it. You want me to go undercover as a mechanical, learn their ways. You got pluck, kid. But no. Can't risk having you go native. <laughs> I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get one of these logic the modules? Rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Poor buddy, is a logic module something you could help with? 
Hmm. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. What is this? <laughs> what does this mean? Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. <laughs> Didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. <laughs> if you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. <laughs> Go on. All right. Now let me use this thingy. Are these things refilled yet? No. Modify. What can I modify? Let's modify the assault rifle. Plasma or shock? Let's make it a shock, because why not? Grenade launcher. Fun times barrel. Didn't I already add that? Mag power. Superheats the bullets, which explode into plasma when fired. Let's give it one. So what is tinkering? How do I tinker? Bits. Okay, so I can tinker with some of these now? Yeah, I'd love to tinker with my clobbering staff. Sniper rifle. Does this mean what I'm holding right now? Alright. It's neat. So now I gotta go and get a machine brain. From whom? And from where? Oh, from over here? I guess I fast travel. Hmm. I've been here before, but was it always active? Mechanical Guardian. Yikes. Bad guys. That gun looks fancy. <laughs> it's got nice filigreeing, like one of Arthur Morgan's guns. Let's take a look. Take a closer look. Combat drone. Mechanical Guardian. MK1. Unexpected. Performing an area. I'm ready for this. Where'd you go? Don't die on me. Oh, what are you doing over there? Hi. Like this gun. Shh. <laughs> to dust. She was fighting the real bad guys. How you doing? You you okay? Well, your health is not that great. But we regenerate, right? Just takes a little time. Oh, what did I? St what was that thing? Hmm. Tech kit, magnum, bit cartridge. Joint actuator. 
A small electrical motor allows an automatic mechanical to move a single joint in one of its limbs. It requires an external power source to operate. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Hidden box. Gimme, gimme. Hubba, hubba. Hubba, hubba. Whoa. Really hubba, hubba. Cool. Hubba, bubba. It gave me the mag pack so I can open this thing, huh? Better be something good. Stun baton, that's alright. Mag pack. Thank you. Bit cartridge, 18 bucks. Not too bad. Are they all dead? Corporate commander. <laughs> nice. Angry Joe. Is this disableable? Do I turn this on and off myself? I got in without needing to bother with it, so... Vending machine, okay. Scientist, scientist. Ooh, thingy. Oh, here. 21 bucks, not bad. Hey, buddy. Ooh, that's a door. Well, what's in here? Ooh. Just a terminal. Elite troop armor. 17. 12. Okay. But is this the heavy stuff? Stealth skills down, yeah. That's what Parvati is wearing. What you got to say? Oh, I need packs to open this. Must be... Oh, disarm the security fences. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> disarm. View logs. Security logs inaccessible. In keeping with Spacer's Choice Company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. Attention, security updates at this Spacer's Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. If you are a member of the Spacer's Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. <laughs> uh huh. Well, we don't have to worry about the fences. Cobbled exosuit. What exactly is that? Five. Just a regular suit. I'd rather have my good armored suit on. No. <laughs> Where I'm supposed to be. Hello. From the planet to your living room. Retrieve a logic module. I need to retrieve it from an, a live one. Bending machine. The control room should be off to the right. Sell junk. Go. I hope we're doing the right thing. Here they come! Someone over there? My target is down, so let's look up. Ooh. I have good instincts. Look for any extra mags before I might need to use them on the computer. Unlock office door. This letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management. We can read that later. 
Hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I've identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so the important part is opening that door to the to the office. Whichever door it was. That wasn't open before. Ooh, bathroom. That was quick. Whisper quiet muzzler. Pit cartridge, necklace, music box, like ammo. And this is the office then. Ah. Oh, hi. Ah. Geothermal security, chief's key card. I want a key card. I wish I could do that. Salt rifle. Unlock door. Oh, enter passcode. Ah, oh, yes. I am Mr. Thompson's after all. Personal log. That's a lot of reading. Okay. These ones might be important. That hull head found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Don't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up a chief of security with no staff, just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointed every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. But the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. <laughs> so he never returned. Greeting Security Chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spacious Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. <laughs> Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. <laughs> oh, goodness. So now I gotta find the other room. Hmm, he must be in the control room then. Bard. Hmm. Some dead bodies down there. Not a peep for me. Like that guy. System. Security patrol initiated. Come along. Begin. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Shiny servo. I love my basher. I can call him Dr. Bashir. Oh, are you alive? Oh, yes, you are.
Chester's passcode. Ah, there's the key card. Light machine gun, why not? Gotta find a barred door so I can unbar it. Just activate them. Hmm. Right. Ooh, mag packs. Logic module. Okay, Wacko, what do you... Bring us honor, soldier. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but... I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. Skill and perk points available. Reputation increased. The spacer's choice. Okay. Now for our perks. Fast travel when encumbered. I guess I'll use that one, because that's pretty, probably going to sneak up on me soon. Oh. Nice. I can leap distances now more. Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Where? Where? Wait a second. I heard marauders don't talk much. You can talk just fine. Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his <laughs> mental state? You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the man. Please, don't tell the constable. <laughs> She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man? Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. 
Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. <laughs> Tell myself the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. <laughs> You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. So you'll do it then? You've been there already? And you ain't been ground down into marauder meat? Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Haven't decided? I hired you. <laughs> The nature of your employment requires you to deliver in my hand some genuine anthracillin. Sweet life given nostrum. Ooh, 3000. It's always the best. Scratch together <laughs> all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as it deserve, but it's all I got. Ooh, 8,000 experience, too. You're wringing the blood out of me. Here, you can have whatever's in my pockets. <laughs> See you around. Spacer's choice are now friendly. Gave him the anthracillin. 500 bucks and then 300 bucks. Nice. You can have whatever's in my pockets. Persuade experience. What do you got yeah. to say? Huh? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Sorry. I know it's none of my business. It's not like I think of a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Huh. There's been scary nights, but Constable Reyes is right up the road. She keeps an orderly town. Oh, I see. Birdie Cotton. Murder company workers. Generous bounty. Guillaume Andream. Destruction of property, murder, workers, theft, and use of medical supplies. Doc Maybell. Destruction, murder, vandalism, unlicensed practice of medicine. <laughs> Alright. So just then my wife came home, and I took that as an excuse to take a break. Till next time, folks. Special fertilizer. Special fertilizer. You don't want to know if I found it already? You don't want to know if I found it already? Special fertilizer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>